the members of all-girl punk band Pussy Riot finally discover their fate today, with a Moscow judge set to deliver a verdict in their trial. But the women musicians are all on trial, accused of inciting religious hatred in a case that's caused a storm not only among the Russian public, but also certainly abroad. Now that demonstration took the form of a so-called punk rock prayer, in which they called on the Virgin Mary to rid Russia of Vladimir Putin. The prosecution is insisting on a three-year jail sentence, saying that the girls have severely offended those who were at the Christ the Savior Cathedral at the moment of their performance. The call for clemency was repeated by President Putin, the man who was the target of the protest. What happened in the church was wrong in his opinion, that these three women shouldn't be judged too harshly. The court deems that Telekonikova is found guilty and given two years, a two-year jail sentence. Someone's sh shouting, shame, shame. Come in, my dear. How long have you been sentenced in the colony? Two years. Two years can be a very long time. People usually change their minds. This is a place of correction, and I'm here to help. I can help you get paroled, but you have to work with me. We can solve this together. Hmm? Cigarette? If you want to get paroled as soon as possible, you have to work with me. Confess your guilt. I will only work the eight hours a day required by the labor code. You should know something, Nadia. We have broken stronger wills than yours. Mordovia greeted me with the words of the deputy chief of the penal colony, Lieutenant Colonel Kuprianov. You should know that when it comes to politics, I am a Stalinist. My brigade in the sewing shop works 16 to 17 hours a day, from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. What really matters is fulfilling your quota. If you don't, you work overtime. Prisoners submit petitions to work on weekends. These petitions are written on the orders of the administration and under pressure from the prisoners that help enforce it.
Once, a 50-year-old woman asked to go back to the residential zone at 8 p.m. instead of 12.30 a.m. so she could go to bed at 10 p.m. and get eight hours of sleep just once a week. She was feeling ill. She had high blood pressure. In response, they held a unit meeting in order to take the woman down, insult her, and humiliate, branding her a parasite. New seamstresses couldn't keep up. They were undressed and forced to sew naked. The inmates in charge of the brigades as well as their senior members are the only ones tasked with depriving fellow inmates rights. All on the orders of the administration. Now walk. The pigs are scared to touch you themselves. They want to do it with the hands of the inmates. Sad, my dear. It hurts me that the people I care for are forced to suffer. I make these doors when our suffering becomes unbearable. It 
It was the year of fire and smoke. We never expected it to come. Wildfires were approaching the colony wars. But we had to continue to work. We worked to fill our quotas. Due to the smoke, we couldn't see two meters in front of us. But covering our faces in wet handkerchiefs, we were all going to work nonetheless. We were so horribly hungry. We started to write diaries in order to document the horror of what was happening to us. When the fires were finally put out, come security took our diaries so that our writings couldn't make it to the outside. Nadia, when the word spirit touches you, do not expect its touch to be painless. What's missing? Something's missing. I can feel it. There is always something missing. It's sacrifice. It's the one we always miss. The girls asked me to talk to you. We know you have lawyers. We need your help. I read about what you did in Moscow. It was heroic. I can't. It will only make things worse. It cannot get any worse than this. The living and working condition violations at PC-14 are endless. However, my main and important grievance is that the colony administration prevents any complaints or claims regarding conditions at PC-14 from leaving colony walls by the harshest means available. <laughs> Ourselves. A game we stole from Nikova. 
probably don't have any friends left. They are falling like flies. You're a monster. I only asked you to respect the labor code. Oh, yeah. You asked me. But I didn't know that the dead could speak. You are always going to be punished unless you start behaving differently with the Tolokonikova. Treat her like the old timers used to treat you. Were you beaten? Of course you were. Did they rip you? Of course they did. Did they fuck you up? You know the answer. We are all just here to serve our purpose and move on with our lives. Don't make it difficult for yourselves. The administration feels untouchable. It heedlessly oppresses prisoners with growing severity. I couldn't understand why everyone kept silent until I found myself faced with the avalanche of obstacles that fall on the prisoner who decides to speak out. Complaints simply do not leave the prison. In May 2013, my lawyer Dmitry Dins filed a complaint about the conditions at PC-14 with the prosecutor's office. Beginning Monday, 23rd September. I'm going on hunger strike. This is an extreme method, but I am convinced that it is my only way out of my current situation. The penal colony administration refuses to hear me, but I, in turn, refuse to back down from my demands. I will not remain silent, resigned to watch as my fellow prisoners collapse under the strain of slavery-like conditions. I demand that the colony administration respect human rights. I 
I demand that the Mordovia camp function in accordance with the law. I demand that we be treated like human beings, not slaves. Thank you.